Hi guys, today I have an unboxing from cubes.com. I don't really know what this package is. I know it's about, I know one of them is the Funs 2x2, 55mm 2x2. That's the only one I can remember that is in this package, but it feels like it's, it's more than that. So let's open it up. So as you can see here, it's opened by um, New Zealand's Custom. I don't know why, but just, just to make sure. So I got this package on Friday, last Friday, but then I was away, so I got it today. So it's Monday today. So they use DHL shipping for this. Okay, so there's nothing. Oh, there's a slip in here. Oh right, so there is something from customs. No items have been removed, so it's good. So it's open as well. Well, I wonder why they did that. I don't know. Okay, let's open it up. This is really well packaged. I like. I love like. Cubes, cube package or cube stores who package the uh, um, items real well in like a box and all that. I just, I just like it. But then it's a lot of work unboxing it. But it's always fun opening packages that's been packaged really, really well. So let's put this away. I think this should be good. Here. Okay. So there are three cubes in here. Okay. Yep. I remember now. Uh huh. And yes. Whoops. So there are three cubes in here and some bubble wrap. Let's put this box to a side and this to a side. So first, let's also take that out. So here we have two YJ products or um, more you products and one fun, funs puzzle product. So here I have a more you Lingpo. Let's open this up. Let's actually open everything up. And this is broken, so it doesn't matter. And a wee pamphlet. And let's open this 55mm Funs 2x2 up. And it's semi-solved. Or semi-uns... I mean semi-unsolved. So we'll take a look at the Moryu Lingpo first. And as you can see here, the, stick the stickers are really squared. It's not like the Wit 2 or Dying where it's cut. Uh, and all that and here's the logo and yeah the stickers are standard more you shades and I already did some first turns at the start if I say I did doing first turns you guys can say oh you already did the first turns blah 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 but oh well let's go into real first turns and real first performance of this cube whoa I gotta say, I really, really like this 2x2. Two two. Apparently, I saw someone in my um, Cyclone Boys 2x2 two two review saying the Cyclone Boys is exactly a knockoff of the more you Lingpo, but it does not feel like the Cyclone Boys at all. It has its own feel. It's not as crispy as the um, Cyclone Boys 2x2. Two two. This one's more echoey kind of sounding, and it's really definitely pretty smooth. And it's a bit loud and. But not as loud as the Wit 2 out of the box where it's all crunchy and scratchy and loud. This one is just really nice. This might be my main, I would say. Corner cutting. Standard corner cutting for 2x2. Two two. Huh. I do feel like it needs a bit lube it needs a bit of lube in it. It's competition worthy straight out of the box. Wow, I do actually enjoy this puzzle. So I'll bring you guys my review of this cube after I play around with it. So let's take a look at the YJ Chilong. A lot of people have talked, like, said really good things about this cube. Like Zach Goldman or um, City Zach made this his main, I think. And yeah, first turns. It definitely is really dry and scratchy. It does need some lube in it. Yeah, but it does turn really nice. It just feels like a quicker or faster version of the YJ Sulong. Nothing too different in feel wise, but I'm pretty sure I just probably use a different type of plastic or something than the Sulong to make it a Chi Long. But yeah, I gotta say, I really do enjoy this puzzle. It does turn really, really nice. 
This may be another main for me. I'm not too sure. I do really enjoy the feel of it. Yeah, not a bad cube. Let's look at corner cutting. It does 45. Reverse. Yeah, pretty decent. I just want to look at the pieces. I'm pretty sure it's just like a uh, YJ Yulong, but different plastic. I can definitely tell that's kind of like a YJ Yulong. I don't know if you guys can really see well, but... Yeah, definitely looks like a YJ Yulong, but with different plastic. So once again, I'll play around with it and give you guys my full review after I have lubed this up and everything, done everything to it. But, ah, oh, this is hard. Okay. So yeah, this is the YJ Chilong. Now, let's take a look at the 55mm 2x2. This is the first ever 55mm 2x2 out there, I'm pretty sure. And... Yeah, I'm excited. Size-wise, it does feel really nice. Here is a 50mm um, Funz 2x2. To me, it doesn't feel like a 55mm at all. We all have seen the 55mm die in Zanchi, but to me, it doesn't feel like a 55mm at all. I don't know why for some reason. Maybe because it's 2x2. Two two. It's just that illusion. But here is the um, Funz 2x2 two, two 50mm. I'm surprised they didn't use the same shades. But it's a good thing that this is stickered now, so you guys can go change your own stickers if you don't like these shades. But I haven't seen anywhere where they have these shades, um, I mean stickers for them. Probably Cubicle might have them soon. But yeah, let's get into first turns. Wow! It sure does turn really, really nice. I'm just not used to the size yet because I've never had a uh, 55mm 2x2 at all. But I do enjoy the size of this puzzle. The turning is definitely a bit better than the Funz 2x2 50mm. This one feels more sturdy. It does not feel as um flimsy and as just unstable as the 50mm. This one definitely does move really, really nice. Wow. This may be another potential for my main, but this Moyu Lingpo also does turn pretty nice. Wow, decisions, decisions, des decisions. There's so many different puzzles now, it's really hard to choose from which one to make as my main and all that. So once again, I will take this cube apart, lube it, and give you guys my full review of this cube. Ah, uh, but I'm not a fan of disassembling this cube and putting it back, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this um, unboxing, guys. This was sent to me by cubes.com. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go check them out. I'll leave a link to where you can purchase all of these three puzzles down in the description box below. Please do click on it. And yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. And if you guys have any of these puzzles, tell me how you guys like them. And yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.